If you believe, he will always defend you in the face of your enemies, in the face of your circumstances. You will not grumble again. You will not complain again. Because he will take care of you. He is your father. He is mighty. He does great things. He is a miracle working God. He does wonders. Beyond our expectations. Beyond our imaginations. Beyond our prayers. Beyond anything you can imagine. Who is living inside of you? Because if there is anybody else, I want you to get him out. Let God come and live inside you. Jesus said, Those who love me, even my father will love them. And we shall both come. I make a home with them. Amen. Make a home. You must make a home inside of you. Must make a home. Inside. Munda Muko. This presence can overwhelm anything inside of you. His presence will overwhelm disease and sickness. It will overwhelm every witchcraft and powers of the enemy. If you choose that he lives inside you. Your body is the temple. He wants to dwell there. He doesn't dwell in the buildings made by man here. He wants to be in you. So that even when you go back, he's still inside of you. He's living inside of you. You will eat him everywhere. Wherever you go, stand up on your feet. Wherever you go, wherever you go, I want you to allow him to be inside of you. Allow him to come and dwell in you. Allow him to make a home inside of you. Allow him to be God in your situation. Is more powerful than our God. Nothing is more powerful than your God. Your God is powerful. Your God wants to dwell and make a home in you. You don't live an ordinary life. You are an ordinary person. But the God inside of you will make you do things extraordinarily. May he touch your life. Raise up your hands. Father, we give you praise. Make your home in us, Lord. Make a home in us, Lord. Make a home inside of us. We stretch our hands before you. We open our hearts to you, Jesus. Fill our hearts. Fill these bodies, O God. Fill this temple. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Father. We need you more than anything else.
kukola makamu ko and things around you are going to change he says in john 14 verse 23 you can come in and you say in john 14 verse 23 if anyone loves me ndio mtu yena bwanja you will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him if anyone loves me he will keep my call, my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him john 14:23 I've been visiting in places but then Charlie for some homes in places ah uh, and akaga mu fever but I remember about maybe two homes in the UK na yenzi jukira amakaga mirundi ebiri I visited them na bachi ayira and this they would prepare special meals never deka icho kuri echenja After meals they would have three courses of meals. They have what they call a starter. Joseph Like the Baganda used to eat chew the coffee. As, as they could just the chicken to prepare it they give you coffee and you chew as you wait for the main course Amen. after eating good food cake they bring a the cake ice cream with ice cream When you talk about food at this time it's not good we started with small small things the starter to make you, to make you ready for eating food after eating they bring a cake with ice cream After that they bring tea. But the children of that house. They say when you are eating. And then they said let Uncle Sam always come to visit us every time. Because whenever he would visit. They eat very nice food. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Whenever I would visit, I would eat special meals. Amen. Amen. I was not going to come to when when man chat the next hour. When child. When even now I go to visit. All of you are rich. They eat well. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. When when I visit. I don't know when I want to worry when to go to the Nigeria. And there is no one here that I can visit and I eat. I don't ask you for singa kumba nyokuya. And when I'm not going to force you to give me. Oja kumba ngawaya gani. You give me when you love it. Yes, yes. Amen. I don't I really visit. But when I visit wherever I visit I eat well. Emma. Emma. When I come to your home. I'm going to eat well. And you're not going to give me this. I just by force. I don't by force. You will give me a chicken. What is my daughter? Hey. <laughs> Wait. If you want to walk with me come we go visit you see when i reach there i will eat well 
Yeah, yeah, I have Have that zeal. I'm you Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Ivan. Let us Pastor Ivan. He has done a great job in this village. And God brought him back. Amen. 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 We are going to see him very many times, I believe. Amen. 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 We want to roll off this village. We were talking about it with my wife. We desire that the gospel is preached. Yes, so why it was in the That's permanent. Why, that's why we built a permanent pulpit. We want the permanent one. But we believe that one time. That the gospel will be preached every day. When people are getting healed, they are getting delivered every day. How is that? Yes, yes. Amen. Every day when the when the loudspeakers are on, day and night. When there are people are making their noise about other gods, when people are going to their swallow, we are also calling. Amen. Yes, yes. That we go kirisa. And we are believing God. The mezinda rejo gano kusinga ka. Bigger my. When they are in Bugusa, when they are deciding not to come to church, that something will disturb them. The anointing will reach them. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And the word will reach them. Because we are going to raise them as they reach and they are Where? 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 But we let us believe and pray that we may pray for the salvation of this village. Amen. This pastor has a burden. And the others who have been feeling this battle. There are people that God is touching to bring to this place. Let them not find us sleeping. So the gospel is going to be preached. Bless you so much.